Update 56 is here. Let's get into all the changes that are coming to Foxhole. The dev's goal is to have four updates this year. This is the first of those four updates. The focus this year is to refine on existing systems, not create new ones. Some of the first quality of life changes that are coming to the game are colors for containers. This is an excellent change for Logi players, especially in the backline. Next, we see some quality of life changes for naval invasions. Being able to pull resources faster is going to help with these invasions. Next, we see a small quality of life for infantry soldiers, which is going to be very strong for bayonet players. And it's going to help players like this. Uh. Whoa, oh, shit. Huge. Try and jump it. Try and jump it. Make me proud. Guys. Shit. Oh, my Lord, bro. Oh, my fucking Lord. Oh, no. No, no, oh my god, oh no, I killed one guy, you got it, I didn't have my bayonet bro, I didn't, have if that shit was ready to go it'd be over. Wow. The next small change is for medics. Critically wounded soldiers are going to yield more soldier supplies and happen more frequently. This is a huge medic buff. This should get more players to play the medic role. And we should see more medical tents on the front and have more soldier supplies at the front as well. These voice changes are really cool. Nothing flashy, but I'm glad they made some of these changes. Server stability has been a big issue with Foxhole recently, especially when it comes to naval operations. I'm glad to see that they are focusing on this more. Hopefully we see less server side issues. Now there's an ability to cue your shots for the angle you want when you're using these machine guns. Again, a really cool and small buff for infantry players. Other small improvements are coming and those will be in the release notes, which will be linked below. Quality of life for facilities is here and we all wanted this. With facilities currently, we have a lot of small groups going off and creating their own facility because they're all locked. But that was not really the initial goal for facilities. Big facilities felt like they took up a huge part of the land and were taking away from smaller groups. And then the smaller groups didn't have access to these larger facilities. The dev's new goal is to make all facilities more public, which is greatly needed. Players want other players to visit their facilities, but not interrupt their own facility workflow. Private facility owners will feel more comfortable now opening their facilities to random players. And with these random players using the facilities, it will not slow down the owner's production. Facilities are now going to start working like refineries. Up to five players can now queue up an order at a facility. Squad lock was really hurting players that needed to use the facilities to get resources or upgrade their vehicles. I recently played with a new player that was trying to upgrade a half track and all the facilities we found were locked. This is going to be a much needed improvement for that kind of problem. The updated stockpiles will make it easier for facility owners to make things more public for other players. These resources can now be put into crates which can be transferred around the map. Being able to crate at a facility is actually a huge change. Now, the devs don't want random players stopping the power flow from the facility owners, so now the power will be scaled across the facility. The main goal of facilities is to encourage people to help one another and work together. Liquid transfer stations are all now public, which will be a really great change as well. And you can still squad lock your modified vehicle once it's complete in the facility. Another huge quality of life change for builders is no more maintenance modifier. This is actually really huge. Builders rejoice. At the end of explaining this change, the devs said to be responsible with your building and don't let them regret this change. So builders beyond your best behavior. Next, we have all the naval updates. One change that is coming is that you'll be able to travel from east to west. The world is officially round. This will be great when we start to see more east and west wars. Now we won't be limited to north and south wars. The dry dock is also getting some visual updates, and you can now transfer items easier from containers and pallets to the ships. This is a big upgrade for logistics.
During the stream, the devs said they wanted to give submarines a better role. They wanted to wait until both sides had a submarine though. Torpedoes can now create large leaks that can't be fixed. You can only fix the ships at dry docks and you'll need metal beams and not B-mats to fix these ships. Torpedoes can no longer be carried by players. This is a bit of a nerf, but they do more damage now. So subs will have to go back to the dry dock more often to get more torpedoes. Torpedoes can now kill players on the ship if they are near the explosion. I thought this was a nice addition as well. The Wardens are getting the new ship, the Warden Light Frigate. Smaller crews can build these ships and larger crews are needed to manage it. And of course, the Collies are getting a new submarine. It is a very large submarine. It has an artillery cannon on the top of it that shoots 120 millimeter rounds. A really cool feature is that you can reload this ship from any place with a crane. We'll have to see how this balances out. I was really hoping for some more builder and infantry quality of life changes to come from this update. I'm hoping from the spring update that we'll see a lot more of those quality of life changes. Overall, I'm really happy about the changes they made to facilities. This is probably the thing I'm most excited for as a Logi player. This dev stream wasn't too flashy besides the two new ships, but there were a lot of changes that were needed. If you want to watch the full dev stream, you can find the link below in the description. That's everything being added for Foxhole's winter update. These new features will officially be added when War 112 starts. Spring technically started today so the devs were a bit late with this new update so we should expect another update here soon in the next two to three months the dev branch to test all these new features will be out soon foxhole is currently on sale this is a good time to grab it before the update war if you don't have foxhole and have more questions about the game let me know in the comments what are you most excited for with this new update what were you disappointed in or what did you want them to add anvil empires gets an update this week as well i should be releasing that video on friday thank you all so much for watching and for your support make sure to subscribe for more foxhole content see you all out on the battlefield. Cheers.